What is up farmhands, Fat Beats here. Welcome to my first tutorial and I'm going to show you how to use Twitch Inspector to test out your Twitch streams before you go live. So without further ado, let's get started. So I popped on Google and I'm going to jump right into Twitch Inspector. As you can see, auto completes over here and we are going to see inspector.twitch.tv. The very first time that you click on the link, it's going to pull you up to this page and you're going to want to go ahead and log in with Twitch. So click on Authorize if you want to trust Twitch Inspector and you want to link it to your Twitch account. And as you can see here, you can run a stream test. So when you do this, you can click right over here. And this is a great way to check out how your encoder is performing before you start streaming. And it's going to tell you how to get your stream key from your Twitch dashboard, which conveniently has a quick link right over here. Go to the channel section in your creator dashboard on Twitch and your primary stream key will be right here. And what you can do is you can click copy. And once it's copied, you can go over to your encoder, which then you can just drop it in. As you can see, I am in my encoder, which is against Streamlabs OBS. And what we're going to do is go over to the settings and click on it. Then you can go over to stream you say stream to custom ingest is going to give you a warning because this is an advanced feature, but we're going to be using this to set up our stream key properly. So what you can do is paste it in here. In addition, you're going to want to go back over to your Twitch inspector and you're going to want to grab starting from the question mark all the way over to get that flag. And you're going to copy this as well. And you're going to add it back onto the stream key to set that flag. Now that you've done this, you can click done. If you also want to see these flags down here to see how things are going, for Streamlabs, all you have to do is click on the little icon over here for the bar graphs, and you can select whether you want to toggle these to display in your encoder or not. So now that you've got your stream key into your custom ingest, you're going to want to go ahead and test it out. So when you click go live, all you have to do is just go ahead and say confirm and go live. Once it's live, then you can go back over to the Twitch Inspector page and you can click run a stream test because now you're already broadcasting. If you've already started streaming, it's going to pull up your latest stream and it's going to show you a chart over here of your bitrate. Inspector will keep a log of all the tests that you've done. When you feel like you're satisfied with everything that you've done so far, go back to your encoder and end stream. If you like this video, please hit the actual like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you want to see more tutorials like this one, I'll be putting more of these together in the future. Thanks for watching. This is Fat Beats, signing out. Bye.